the women that come on pop the balloon have lost their mind and then you're like oh i'll text you in the morning and then i didn't hear anything else from you okay and now so cliff um she's kind of saying you guys had a, a discussion you said you're gonna call her the next day or whatever it was and she didn't hear back from you what would you say led to that that woman is such a tear in manipulator it brought back trauma because we've all dealt with women like her Women who are just grade A manipulator, narcissist, she's gaslighting dude the entire time, making it seem like he's a time waster. He came on the show to womanize. He wasted everybody's time. And he's just sitting there quiet, not really trying to expose her or let her dirty laundry out there because he's a gentleman. But that's the thing. When dealing with women like this, bro, you can't be a gentleman, bro. You got to go to the pig's ground with her. So eventually he had enough and he revealed exactly why he stopped talking to her. Um, well... One thing, uh, a lot, a lot, it was a lot of, it was a lot of stuff going on, um, in my head, um, that was brought up to my attention too. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of didn't want to, uh, share right, uh, share it at that moment. But, um, another thing that was brought up to me was, uh, Rose, um, had a, you know, a 53 year old Nigerian man taking care of her. So this, um, that was brought up to my attention as well. Um, from a few, um, from a few people that, um, she was on the show with as well, so. The next couple minutes is gonna be so triggering, bro. If you've ever dealt with a narcissist or a manipulator, you're gonna be so triggered, bro. Cause she's pulling out all the cards, man. She's pulling out the gaslighting, the over-talking, the diverting, the sympathy card. She's pulling out everything she can, bro, to try to save face and not look like the horrible person she is. First off, every man who have had to go through this understand how tough it is for the woman that you put on a pedestal to expose herself as a scallywag, that right there alone is heartbreaking. But then you find out that this chick ain't even a baddie. This chick is a bum. Any woman who's bragging about a man taking care of her as a badge of honor is a woman who ain't used to it. Um, a few of the, few of the, um, few of the girls on the show um, from her, from her episode, you know, brought it up to my attention that she was talking to a whole Nigerian man that's 53 years old. So, um, I didn't, I was just shocked about it because I'm like, and then she was, you know, the girls was shocked about it because they're like, you know, why is she even on the show? And then, you know, wait, wait. everything about this woman is deplorable, bro. Even the pitch of her voice, bro. Like the whoa, 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 made my ears bleed, bro. Like, man, bro. Like, yeah, uh. And if you dealt with liars before, bro, as soon as you hear whoa, 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 you know nothing, nothing but grimy lies is about to follow. And her excuse or her way out of this situation or her explanation for why these women is saying that she was talking to a 53-year-old sugar daddy is, uh, you know, it's horrendous because one, she thinks it really makes her look better. And then two, it's just not believable, not one bit. Wait, then, so, so you saying the girls in the group said that I was talking to this guy now? You you explained it to them. No, like, I, I, I was not talking. I'm I'm not talking to this guy now. Like, this was, like, earlier part of this year. So, whatever, you know, it, God missed. So, Ro, it, just to confirm, when you yeah. came on the show, are you single? Yes. Like, I wouldn't. <laughs> for them to say that this guy was taking care of me. Yes, this guy was taking care of me. This chick is a grade A gaslighter. Peep how she caught herself mid-gaslight. She was like, for them to say this man was taking care of me. Well, this man was taking care of me. <laughs> this chick is horrible. Yo, I don't know what's worse, bro. Her blatantly lying or the excuse thinking is better. Yo, her thinking that like it makes her look any much better that she had a sugar daddy a few months prior opposed to having a sugar daddy now. Bro, it's all the same thing, bro. All right? It shows a lot about your character. And for a man who's just getting to know you, for him to have to learn from other people, yo, this chick was using a 53-year-old Nigerian man as a sugar daddy and bragging about it. One, why is that something you're even bringing up to a group of people that you just met that day? She literally just met the people on the show and they all had a group chat. So she's bragging to the group chat and to these women that she had a 53-year-old sugar daddy as if it's a badge of honor. Why is that something you're even sharing with people you just met? Like, you think these people got loyalty to you? Yeah, you think these people like you? You think these people are your friends? They're not, bruh. These are strangers who are going to gossip and tell your business. All right, now, she goes on and continues and try to play this out as if she's the victim. As if she was wrong. As if them warning this man 
was them being shady. But this was like way like earlier part of this year. So that had nothing to do with me. Like I literally came on the show with great intentions on okay. finding somebody. So I don't like that you took what somebody else said instead of like getting it from me. Cause you never even asked that from me. I, I, feel, I don't feel like that's right. Um, I just feel like you no because you you explained it on the show to the girls and everything and they brought it up to but me. But you keep saying to the girls, but you never um you never addressed me. So about you guys it. never had a conversation about exactly. This. We never had a discussion about it. So you are going by. I feel like I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring that up. I didn't want to bring you, that because that means I feel that like you she wasn't was really twisted. interested. No, it you wasn't, wasn't that. interested in getting it to just, know me. Then it wasn't that. It just showed me that she like she was bragging about it like to the girls on the I wasn't show. bragging like that like, that like was how just can the, you go that, by like that was just I don't get it that, how can you go by he say she say I would never do that to you because even in the group chat I heard some stuff you were saying but I never said oh I'm not gonna talk to Cliff because I'm hearing this like I'm 33 years old I wouldn't go back and be like oh I'm not gonna talk to him because I heard this if her stance was this is not true they're lying on me I never said that that's insane why would I ever say that? I ain't never had no sugar daddy. I'm a real woman. That's different than probably a conversation needed to be had and he should ask why they're saying these things about her. But if she's just all right admitting, yeah, I said I had a 53-year-old sugar daddy that was taking care of me, bruh. But, like, why do you ever talk? To <laughs> There's nothing to talk about. You had a sugar daddy or have one currently. It doesn't matter. It shows me a lot about your character. And I don't want to deal with no woman who got a 53-year-old sugar daddy, bro, or ever had one, right? It shows a lot about your character, your work ethic, your self-esteem, how you view yourself. Listen, man, a sugar daddy to me is just the same as sex working. I don't, like, I'm sorry. I, I don't see no difference at all. Not one. And if you want us to believe, bro, that a 53-year-old man was paying all your bills, paying everything in your household, man, he wasn't getting no sugar, you're out of your mind. And if you was getting sugar in exchange for some payments, you was a sex worker. Ain't no different. And I don't want to date one. All right? But she wanted him to bring it up so she could manipulate and argue to him about it. And this dude already peeped game, bro. Like, he already peeped what's going on. You feel me? And he don't want to argue. He's over it, bro. Like, over it. Now, she tries to deny further. She's making a big deal, out, deal about it, bro. Talking about how he's influenced easily. But he had to tell her, bro, yo, it wasn't just one or two person. Like, it was multiple people saying you said this in the group chat. Just, it wasn't about that's just the street, pure and it was multiple people that was. Bringing. I'm just saying, like street, it's like outside it's, people. But it's multiple people bringing up that the same situation. But you're still though. saying multiple people instead of addressing it from the person that it happened to. Okay. So, so now Cliff, it feels like, oh, go. I'm sorry, like, now it feels like you're trying to make me look bad on a sh bad on this show. Like, oh, she had this man taking care of her while she came on the show. I haven't seen that man in months. Like, literally. <laughs> Months. So, Cliff, did you ever, like, once think, like, okay, you know what, I'm hearing this, let me go ahead and speak with her and get more clarification? Um, um no, I didn't really want to, I didn't want to bring it to her attention because I just feel like we will be in a debate, like, how it is right now, just constantly, like, no, it was just go back it's and not forth. not a, deb a debate, I'm defending myself. Let's go back and forth and, like, she I'm defending myself. It, it was just, like, she bringing it up like it was past years or something when it was probably could have been recently. So I just didn't. It want wasn't it. recent though. So I don't really know what it was. So I didn't really want to necessarily talk about it, like at that point, because okay. I feel like she would have just probably said that all oh, it was in the past or some years ago. Because that's true. Like I'm gonna defend myself if it's if it's not that's if it's true. I would tell you. He was able to assess and read exactly what type of woman this was early and cut ties before he could get his losses, bro. Because a woman like this. Her intentions was to use and abuse his pockets, bruh. Was to get whatever she could get out of him and discard him. And he wasn't trying to go out like the other men on the show. The other men on Pot the Balloons, oh, yo, they going out sad, yo. They is going, yo, these chicks are having their way with these dudes, yo. They're coming on the show, getting their pockets licked. <laughs> but I don't think anybody got finessed and got their pockets greased worse than this dude called Eric. Hey, so how was the time in Austin, like? How was it, like, the time spending with each other, all that stuff? It was cool. Um, so he was, I think he were downtown. I don't really want to give, like, where I live, but he was, like, downtown. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was a little bit further away from where I was staying. So whenever I got off of work, I would come down and see him. I think we hung out every day for the most part. She's doing a great job right now at playing this good girl role. And Eric is eating it up, bro. He is buying into this good girl role. 
So while they was in Arizona for Pop the Balloon, after the show, they hung out for two straight days, had two dates. Then afterwards, he went to see her in Austin, Texas, and they hung out for seven straight days, had seven dates. So after nine total dates, the most Eric have gotten with her was a hug. He ain't get a kiss. He ain't get a, a feel on the boot. No, a hug. According to her, she ain't want to, you know, take things too far, right? She ain't want to take things too quickly. So nine dates, a hug. That right there was on her timetable, right? Now, Eric, buying into this good girl act, he says, yo, I want to apply pressure, bro. I want her to know I really want her. So Eric decided he want to take her on a trip outside the country to any country she wants to go. And this chick who wants to take it slow, who don't even want to kiss him, had no problem accepting the free vacation out the country. So I thought it would be... Um, it would be nice to do something special for her. Okay. So I asked her if she would like to go on a vacation trip to a European country of of her choice. And oh. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> um, and so we ended up. She and she decided on Santorini because she. Always wanted to go there. She never been there. Okay. She ain't even try to save his pockets, bro, by saying, "Hey, bro, let's go to Cabo or to Jamaica." She says Santorini, Greece. She wanted to make it hurt. Santorini, Greece. What made you pick that place? Like, and what? First of all, let me backtrack. <laughs> How was? Were you shocked that you know someone who you just met was asking you, like, "Girl, let me take you out of the country." Like, how was that? Ah. <laughs> uh it was definitely a shocking question um i haven't been asked that so early within like knowing a person okay um i wouldn't say it was a love bomb but hey like i'm here for the delusion regardless but <laughs> i had a great time spoiler alert after juicing him for everything she could juice him of without having to give nothing back she left him, dumped him, and did him dirty, broke his heart, bruh. So here's what happened. So they are on this trip, having a good time. He's spending all this money. He's taking her everywhere. Everything she want to do, he's down to do it. And all he's asking for in return is some hugs and affection. But that right there was a little too much, all right? He wanted a little too many hugs for her. I, def I deferred to her. I wanted to... Okay, I good. Wanted to give her some options and see what she was into. But I think we tried to keep it loose so that okay. every day would feel to some degree like a new adventure, you know? Mm, okay, so you guys didn't yeah. do too many like activities or you didn't plan too much? Kind of. I, like... I had I had an idea of an activity for each day. Okay. Yeah, okay. but there was definitely food involved. <laughs> and we had a very nice uh, um, apartment overlooking the city, you know, mm. watch the sunrise, watch the sunset. It was nice. really nice. She got an experience, man, in the pool. Even the water look expensive, bro. She had herself a ball. IG pictures on fleek. But then, you know, they start to have some issues. And the issues is she felt like he was being distant. And he was being distant, but he was being distant because whenever he would try to kiss her, give her affection or ask for it back, she would sort of back off and sort of like, uh, like, no, like, don't touch me. Like, don't kiss me. Right? Like, no, ew, no. Like, I want to make out. So then he just sort of got the vibe and became distant. So then she became mad at him because he felt like she wanted him to be distant. What I did instead. Mm -hmm. So I was going back to the location where, I, where I'd run to. Mm -hmm. I found the key. I came back. Um, and that's then where we had another set of conversations. Okay. Um, because she kind of called me to the couch and like, hey, what's going on? You know? And so I told her, I was like, there's nothing is wrong. I'm, I'm fine. I just feel like I have to be a bit more distant about cuddling and, you know, kissing because it feels sometimes when I try to do it, it seems like you're uncomfortable. You kind of back away. Okay. You know, she wants to kiss. She doesn't want to make out, you know, things like that. So I'm like, OK, I don't want to be too overbearing. So I'm going to kind of create a little bit of a boundary. It was aggravating. Uh, we were disagreeing on things that were we were disagreeing about the boundaries that we both set for each other, which is just very childish on both of our end. Um, but after that, we chose to react off of our emotions at the time. So um, 
Yeah, in the morning time. He had assured her before they went to Greece, I'm not taking you on this trip just to sleep with you. It's not a requirement that you have to sleep with me on this trip. Let's just have a vibe and have a good time. So sleeping with him was not a requirement, and no woman should be forced to sleep with a guy who fly them out. But what Eric wasn't expecting was that hugs, literally hugging her, would be like a challenge. Like, she would be so standoffish to any type of physical contact that hugging her was something that she felt uncomfortable with. But he flew her out to Greece for like a week-long vacation. I take notes, so I have the dates. July 5th was the day we went to dinner. It was the day that we had a conversation. You asked me to tell you what my expectations were of you. I told you that I would like more hugs. I said, you're bad at hugs. Remember that? So she said, yeah, I'm going to work on that, you know. Um, and I told her that I felt like every time I gave her hugs, maybe she was feeling like it was trying to lead to something else. I'm like, no, the hug is really just a hug. Like, just put your arm around my head and that's all that's all it needs to be, okay. you know. And so she's like, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll do better. And, and that was that was that the dinner was great. After 10 plus dates, plus an overseas trip to Greece, he still had to beg her to get a hug. Oh, <laughs> yo, these, yo, I ain't gonna lie, yo. These chicks be having a way, bruh. Now, what's even worse is after the trip to Greece, after her free trip, she then tried to hit him with the greatest con known to man. Hey, you's a really nice guy. I think you're perfect. But, yo, we should just be friends. And she tried to, like, tap in and check on him and be friends. What it was. But afterwards, um, I didn't want to have a dating relationship with Eric anymore. Because he's still, I think Eric can still be a great person. So I was hoping that we can have a platonic, just cordial friendship afterwards i know i didn't want to date him anymore but i didn't want it to be as if he's out of my life completely because he is cool like eric is a cool guy like honestly he's he's cool he has a lot of skills plays instruments he's a really cool guy honestly he has a lot of great qualities about himself i just didn't want to date him anymore so from that point on yeah i was done mm -hmm. but the next morning she's still checking on me on my flights so again <laughs> see what i'm saying i'm like if we're done why are you checking on me I mean, she said she thinks you're a cool person. I understand, but you're I'm not. A human I'm not. Being that she I'm not looking. I'm not looking for no <laughs> friends. I got plenty female friends that are just my friends. Okay. So it's like if we're not dating, like. So you want to just cut the losses and move on? That's it. We're done. I'm so glad, bro. Have enough self-esteem to avoid the great scam. The great scam is after using you for everything you got, after using you for a lot of money. When they can no longer avoid not giving out or not giving nothing back in return, they switch it over to, yo, let's just be friends to keep you in your life for them to extract more resources out of you. He has a lot of skills. He's well-connected. He has a lot of money. So she thought, yo, I need this guy around, bro, right, to lean on when I need something. He said, nah, bro, I'm not feeling it, man. Listen, the men on Pop the Balloon, bro, they're being used and abused for their pockets, bro. All right, they're being manipulated. They're being tricked. Something needs to be done, yo. Because at this point, bro, I don't see the benefit of going on Pop the Balloon as a man, bro. Because, yo, I'm not hearing stories of men going on Pop the Balloons and clapping cheeks, yo. All I'm hearing stories of men going on and, and being used for all their money. All right, y'all let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about this. And if you're still watching, click on this video here to find out about the 2021 conspiracy that UMG and Kendrick Lamar came together to end Drake's career. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.